Gleams Human Resources Commission is one of 1,000 community action agencies born out of President Lyndon B. Johnson's declaration of war on poverty. Our goal is to eliminate the paradox of poverty in the mix of plenty. My name is Shauna Jeter. I proudly serve as the CEO of Gleams Human Resources Commission, home of the Gleams Dr. Benjamin E. Mays Historical Preservation Site. My name is Chris Thomas and I'm the director of the Gleams Dr. Benjamin E. Mays Historical Preservation Site and we are sitting on the birth home of Dr. Mays. Dr. Mays was born on a tenant farm. His parents were almost both entirely illiterate. Dr. Mays rises out of those conditions largely because he was motivated to prove that he was as mentally capable as any man. He grew up at a time where there was a doctrine of black inferiority here in the South, and Mays was influenced by that because he was just four years of age on the porch of the house that we're sitting on now when he experienced his first racial mob. He wanted to go up north to prove that he was as mentally capable uh, as any man. He wanted to be able to prove that he was not inferior. His life is definitely a reflection of that. You know, we find that incredibly interesting and in such an inspirational story here at Gleams because we're here to serve families who live in poverty and we know that education is a poverty breaker, that it helps to build kind of that ladder to self-sufficiency. It is you, Dr. May says. He says it's the quality of your mind, it's the determination of your soul. Those are the things that will determine and shape your future. We also have the uh, Burn Spring School. It's almost identical to the building that he attended. We also have an interpretive museum that has uh, hundreds of pictures of Dr. Mays inside. Dr. Mays went on to champion this notion that he didn't believe that your environment was the greatest determinant of your outcome in life. He thought that it was, it was the, in the individual, it was not in their environment. Things like this historical preservation site are not just so we learn about Dr. Mays or that time period, but it teaches us a whole lot about ourselves. And also with anything history, if you don't learn it, you'll repeat it. So we certainly welcome visitors, those young, those old, those in between, to come to the Dr. Mays Historical Preservation Site, learn a little bit about Dr. Mays, and hopefully learn a little bit about yourself.